It's time for six-figure trucking period number eight. Let's take a look at my compensation as a company driver, W-2. The first thing we're going to talk about is the logs for the week. I was paid for 2,810 dispatched miles. I had 2,355 logged miles. My utilization this week was 78%. The day in orange was a day that I was on a paid 34-hour reset. The day in green was the beginning of a home time that will end in the next pay period. My unedited pay statement for period number 8 of 2024. This includes all trips from February 11th to February 17th. The first trip started in Laredo, Texas and ended at the Fort Recovery, Ohio Terminal. It paid $941 for 1,443 miles. The second trip started and ended at the Fort Recovery, Ohio Terminal. It had several stops in Pennsylvania that included Fredericksburg, York, Mountville, Carlisle, Leesport, and Bethlehem. It paid $1,296 for 1,367 miles. Securement paid $52. A 34-hour reset paid $100. Loaded miles paid $1,795. Stops paid $290. The total earnings for this week was $2,237. We keep hearing across the industry that drivers are getting less miles and making less money. I am one that believes in hard numbers rather than anecdotal information. Here's a comparison of my miles and compensation for the last four years. When I look at my earnings and my miles through the eighth period of each year, I'm happy to say that the actual information does not agree with the premise that the industry is in trouble and we are all making less. Eight weeks into the year, my gross income is $17,149 and I've driven 21,754 miles. This averages out to $2,144 per week and 2,719 miles per week. Estimating that over a year, I'm on track to earn $111,488 for 141,401 miles. Through week number eight of 2024, I've been loaded 93% of the miles, and only 4% have been hazmat placarded miles. This is a map of the miles per state year to date in which I've driven. Texas remains well in first position. Ohio and North Carolina have flipped for second and third. Arkansas and Indiana have swapped for fourth and fifth. My home state of Georgia has fallen to sixth. This week I added Pennsylvania to the map with that multi-stop load out into snow country. A separate video will address how I managed through that one-day shutdown in snow country and still come up with a great week for compensation. Here's the home time that I've taken for this payroll year. At the end of this week, I started a home time that will end in the beginning of next week and bring the total home time to 14.1 days for the year. I've also had five paid 34-hour resets on the road. My driver statement shows seven, but two are actual layovers. I'm not paid hourly, but let's calculate it like an hourly job. For the week, my gross pay was $2,236 for 44 hours of work. If we break it down into a typical hourly job, it could be 40 regular hours and 4 hours of overtime, resulting in an effective pay rate of $49.13 per hour. Straight hourly pay would be $51.20 per hour. Year to date, I've earned $17,149 for 418 hours work. Out of those hours, 320 would be regular time and 99 would be overtime. If we calculate it weekly with overtime, the effective pay rate is about $36.67 per hour. However, as straight time, it's approximately $40.99 per hour. As always, make sure you're enjoying every day at work.